the curve is also going to humble you. God help you. The, the curve is serves a purpose to bring our identity and to humble us. Sometimes we have to be humbled into the realization that I ain't all that. God help me. Sometimes God allows the curve to come because he wants you to know that you're too hot minded. He wants the curve to come or permits the curve to come all so that you will know that this is not about you, but it's about him. Come on. It's not about you, but it's about somebody else. Sometimes you have to encounter the curve all so that you can now have and so God now permits us, amen, to encounter the curve so that, watch this, that it brings out who you really are and not who you pretend to be. I'm talking to somebody all here. In other words, watch this now. The, heart, the curve is the harsh reality of life that in, order, that in order for God to prove us, he has to allow us to encounter some curves. Yeah. Amen, amen. Amen. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. Your curve. Your curve. You may not look like my curve. You may not look like my curve. But nevertheless. But nevertheless. We both. We both. Are going to encounter some curves. Are going to encounter some curves. And, and so because we're all going to have our curves. Amen. Uh, we won't always have the same curves. Amen. And the curve. Watch this now. And so when we are out of position. Mother, sometimes the curve looks crazy. Amen. When we're out of position. The curve can look crazy. To some people, the curve, when you're running ahead, if you're not really in the proper position, to some people, the curve can look like a dead end. What? Yes. Mm. Yeah. To some people, the curve can look like, um, the curve can now look like um, a cliff or yes. the ending of a cliff. And so we stop now. In midstream, Trina, we stop. And we stop because we don't know what's up ahead. And we stop because I can't, my vision won't allow me to see beyond the curve. Yeah. And so this tells us now, watch this, that God allows curves in our life to force us into a place that says, I need something that is greater than me. God forces us into a place that if that uh, if that road looks like a cliff to me and it's the only road that I can take, now I need something greater than me to get me over the cliff. Are you hearing me? It looks like this. The Bible says that while they were yet heading away from Pharaoh, that they came to a body of water known as the Red Sea. And they began to trouble because they looked and saw nothing but water ahead, and behind them they saw Pharaoh. God help me. I feel prophetic right there. Is there anybody who knows that God has brought you out, but in him bringing you out, and in your running, you now ran into water, and behind you is those things still chasing you. Help me, God. You know, okay, here we go. You know he brought you out, but behind you, amen, the 2 a.m. booty calls are still what coming. Help me. But in front of you, amen, is still this body of water. And it looks like this. God, I don't know exactly how I'm going to come out of this because the water is impeding my progress. But I know I can't go back because I'm not trying to go back to Egypt. I can't go back because I'm not trying to go back into and be a slave to that thing anymore. I'm not trying to be a slave to that individual. I'm not trying to be a slave to that situation. I'm not trying to be a slave to that dead end job. But Lord, 